What happens during a thermal runaway and why is it so difficult to manage? Now during a thermal runaway, you start off with a battery failure, a single battery cell. And that cell, you have no chance of extinguishing. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> the only thing you can do is stop the propagation. In a cascading thermal runaway, you have one cell that fails, it heats up, it thermally damages all the cells around them. They fail. You keep having cells that are in contact with each other fail. And for an e-mobility device, when you've got a large brick of cells, you know, maybe 100 cells or so, depending on what type of device it is, that thermal runaway, it's going to run its course fairly quickly. However, when you have an electric vehicle, you have a large battery box full of thousands of cells. The thermal runaway looks a bit different. It gets to a certain point where you get so much heat, you get so much pressure built up inside of that box that you start getting initiation points elsewhere in the box. Those initiation points, they cause more failures and that failure grows and grows and grows. Now remember, these battery boxes in an electric vehicle, it's a watertight, it's a fireproof box, but it's not a perfect seal. What happens is you start seeing some gas leaking out of the battery box itself. But rather quickly, pressure builds up inside that box because as these battery cells fail, they release a significant amount of gas. A single 18650 cell, for example, can release up to six liters of gas. So when a single cell releases all that gas and then another one, another one, very quickly you get a very large amount of pressure inside this box. The boxes have vents in them, deflagration vents. Once that pressure is released, the burst disc blows off, the vent opens up, all this gas, all this flammable gas comes shooting out at a high pressure. There's already a heat source, so you get that jet flame appearance. That's why when a battery box, an electric vehicle fails, it goes in the thermal runway, it seems to be very energetic. What I think is happening when you have these fire departments, they're putting water on the car, they're trying to cool the electric vehicle, they're slowing down that thermal runway process. Instead of going very quickly from cell to cell to cell and other initiation points elsewhere in the box, it limits itself just to where the fire is. Now, the department might stop the fire. They might be able to stop that thermal runaway, cool things down enough. However, there's a lot of thermally damaged cells inside that box after the fire has occurred. You have damaged bus bars, you have damaged electrical connectors, very easy to short things out. So when you go to move that vehicle, it could cause fires, reignitions after the fact. Electric vehicles are very difficult to deal with just because of the nature of the batteries and the battery location. Be sure to stay up to date with the latest information by subscribing to my channel.